bought my friend his dream car, but it has a few problems. And I'm gonna give it to him, but only if he can fix it in the next 24 hours. And if he can't fix it, well, I'm giving this thing to Whistling Diesel. And we all know what he does to cars. This is Will, one of my closest friends and also the editor and cameraman for this YouTube channel. And while most people dream of owning Ferraris or Lamborghinis, Will only dreams about this, a BMW Z3M Coupe, a weird car that he's literally obsessed with. He wants one so bad and that's why we used all of the channel's money to buy him this. It turns out though, that the channel doesn't have a lot of money. So this one uh, is a little rough. It may look good, but it has a lot of problems. The brakes are completely shot. This engine needs a lot of stuff, so just here's the list. The transmission has seen better days, so there's some work down there for him as well. Now, Will and I are definitely not professional mechanics, but over the past year on this YouTube channel, we've been learning to work on cars, and this will be the truest test of his ability. Not only did I want to do something nice for him, but I also wanted to give you guys something entertaining because I have no idea if he can actually do it. So, <laughs> he thinks he's showing up for a regular day of work. Let's get into it. And look who's pulling up right now. It's Will. Oh, oh, hey, man. What's, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little, uh, little prize for you. It's not really a regular work day. Um, it's behind the garage door, and it's something that we're gonna have to do today. We have to get done literally today. Are you in? I mean, yeah. All right, cool. Because <laughs> I got a little special surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> what? Hey. <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that is your dream car. Well, yeah. <laughs> and it's, uh, that. It's yours. <laughs> what? But there's a stipulation. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't just get what you want right away, man. You gotta work for it. Okay. So you have exactly 24 hours to fix this car. And uh, luckily for you. What's wrong? Well, it looks like there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> luckily with for it. you, FCP Euro sent you all of these parts to get it done. And they got it here really quick, too, actually. Yeah. There is literally everything you would need to get this car working right, but the only problem is, Will, if you don't do it, this car is going straight to our, our guy, Whistling Diesel. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is, uh, you know, not the most polite with the vehicles. Sorry, I, have no, I don't even know what to say right now. Yeah, uh, I don't think you've even taken into account this is your car, but well, Will. I mean, it isn't yet, I guess. Yeah, it's not yours I'm gonna yet. fix it, though. I hope you know that. You guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but this is like my, literally one of my dream cars. Um, wow. All right. Well, you can sit there and react all you want, but the timer does start uh, now. Okay. So uh, good luck to you. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I already set it up on the uh, on yield. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. I set it up so it would go up for you right away. No problem. <laughs> oh, and he's getting right to it. No hesitation. Look at this guy work. All right. Well. Timer is ticking, and uh, yeah, he's got one wheel off. It's been two minutes, so great start, I'd say. I still have 23 hours, <laughs> 58 minutes to do this. It looks like Will's starting with the brakes because that's one of the more simple but time-consuming items on the list. Ooh. Ow, that hurt. What he doesn't know yet is that this car actually has upgraded front brakes, which might be a bit more difficult to change out. Oh, one rotor off, but he's moving. He's pulling parts off the part shelf. By the way, you should check out FCP. They are literally the best. They have all the parts you need for your European car. You can check them out at the link in the description. They're awesome. Their customer service is also literally top notch. Uh, they are so quick to respond and they get these here every time faster than they say they do. I love a place that over delivers. It's been 12 minutes here and Will has the brake rotor off. The first one, the very first part. Do you need something? Now my strategy going into this is gonna be do the things that I know how to do best first. I've done brakes before on a car. I've helped Jackson do plenty of brakes on our cars, so uh... Ah. Now it may seem like we forgot to do the brake pads, but on calipers like this, you can change the pads with the calipers installed, which might be easier in this case. The old pads just slide out and the new pads slide in pretty easily. 
All right, first side done. He's not putting the stuff out. He's moving straight to I second the break spot. Side anyway, so. Before Will gets too far into it, I want to say thank you so much to our friends at AP Designs for letting us use their shop to work on our stupid projects. None of this could be possible without them, so if you're in the Boston area and need basically anything done on your car, check them out. Brakes. Even though it seems scary, usually they can be done. Usually aren't too bad to do on cars. So starting with brakes, um, and then probably just like oil change and that stuff because that's the easy stuff, and then I'll save the hard stuff for last because that seems like the right idea. I think. I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> That's usually how I work. <laughs> and while Will is getting on to the uh, second side, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna go do something that he can't do and get a nice lunch. Hey, we'll bring you back a sandwich. Come on. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you here in your, uh, your own capable hands and uh, good luck to you. We have so far been going for 46 minutes. Wow, I'm going slowly. Uh-oh. I need well, to pick up the pace. Yeah, you need to pick up the pace. <laughs> The process for this side is identical to the other, so hopefully for Will's sake, it'll take less than 45 minutes. While he's struggling with the basically seized caliper bolts, I'm enjoying a nice meal with my friends, and I'm sure he's having a much worse time than me. Ow. <laughs> I done punched myself. Thankfully for Will's sake, with the caliper bolts removed, the rest of the install is going pretty well. And with the new pads and rotors in, the front brakes are basically done. All right, so the front brakes actually went pretty well, but I'm looking at something in the rear brakes, and that looks like a bolt that's ready to strip. Oh, yeah. That's a bolt that's ready to strip. Wish me luck. No, I don't know how. are a bit different to the front, so changing the pads is a little bit more challenging, especially on an older car like this with some corrosion. Unfortunately for Will, we misplaced our caliper spreader tool that allows you to easily get the new brake pads in, so he's going to have to improvise and see if he can somehow spread it enough to get the new pads in with enough room to clear the new rotors as well. We are done with brakes. All four corners have been broken. Now, I gotta figure out what I wanna do next. And I think I'm gonna tackle something else that I think I know how to do, which is spark plugs and coil packs. That involves opening this up and doing a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna do that now. Because I don't know how much time I've left, it's probably been about two hours, which means I'm being pretty slow. Yeah, gonna keep going. If you have a car with a rough idle or a misfire, which we have both, it's always a good idea to start with the spark plugs and coil packs. For somebody learning how to work on cars, it's a pretty rewarding job that also isn't too difficult, especially on an older BMW. It can be a bit time consuming, and having the right tools is essential, but Will seems to be getting on pretty well with it so far. Having the spark plugs out is also a great way to check on the health of your engine. If they're dirty, it likely means you have some sort of oil leaking into the spark plug tube, which can also make its way into the combustion chamber. That's not a good thing. The ones in the M Coupe look to be pretty clean. So all Will has to do is replace them and it should hopefully run way better than it did before. So, we are done and I'm going to fire it up and make sure it's not misfiring and working right. The moment of truth. Will it turn on and run happily? Crossing my fingers while I'm turning the key. Oh, she's running like a top. I did it right. I know you guys might think that I'm an idiot, but I'm good at my job sometimes, usually not. And now we gotta do motor mounts. Now I'm gonna do the oil change first. Oil change, transmission fluid. That's what I'm gonna do next. Another easy yet crucial task to do on really any car is an oil change. When you buy a car with a questionable history, it's especially important to do an oil change because running a car on degraded oil can do serious damage to the engine. The oil coming out looks okay, but definitely was in need of a change. The oil basically all the way drained out. I gotta do one of the easiest parts of an oil change to forget, and that's just replace the little crush washer. My little guy right here. The washer has been crushed on this guy. So 
slide this one off. Slide the new one on. I can put it back on the car, and then I can put the oil in. Look at this. Man has been working. This thing's got all the brakes on. I was away for a significant... You left me for eons. I did leave you here for eons. I was having quite the lovely time at lunch. Um, it did go on for a long time, though. Will is crushing it so far, but... Yeah, he's leaving a lot of the hardest stuff, like uh, the belts and the, the engine mounts and the transmission mounts for last. Those are gonna be uh, a bit of a challenge. That's where things can go very wrong. I'm just hammering away over here. There he goes. Well, sir, I will leave you to it. With the old fluid drain, we can replace the filter up top and then add some new oil in. This oil is specifically formulated for a higher mile European car, which is always a bonus. With the oil change done, Will is also going to do a transmission fluid flush. BMW says their transmission fluid lasts the lifetime of the vehicle, but I don't really believe it. And the car was shifting a bit rough anyways, so changing the transmission fluid is always a good idea. With the old fluid drain, Will can use a pump to fill the transmission back up until it slowly starts to drip out of the fill port. With all of that done, it's time to get to the not so simple tasks. Transmission mounts are usually a bit easier than engine mounts, so Will is starting with those. Unfortunately, while inspecting the transmission mounts, we'll notice something not so great. Oh. What? What? The guibo's cracking. Oh, man. Can you get me one? Will's talking about a guibo, which sounds like something that doesn't actually exist and is made up, but it's a real thing, I promise you. I didn't know the guibo on this car was going bad, but this is what it is. For reference, this is an M5 transmission out of our M5, and this is the guibo. No, they're very different, I think. But this Guibo, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a rubber disc uh, so that it's not actually just a metal to metal connection when it spins the drive shaft, which then allows you to actually spin your wheels. The, the rubber on the Guibo actually helps kind of soften the, uh, the movement. Otherwise, it would be pretty rough and stuff would break. So that sort of just absorbs a little bit of shock in the drive shaft. Uh, and wheels, uh, as with many old cars, they, uh, they do tend to crack. Oh, see I this? see it in there, yeah. It's a line right there. It's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, there's the Guibo that we just saw. It is definitely tearing a little bit. I have seen far worse on these old BMWs. Uh, that one is not going to break anytime soon, but it would be helpful to replace it for sure because it's going to go at some point and then it's just going to it's going to be a whole thing. Damage aside, Will still has to replace the transmission mounts. Using a screw jack to get the weight off of the transmission, you can then loosen them and pull them out. With replacing mounts, it's always easier to get the old compressed ones out than it is to fit the new ones in. But with a bit of persuasion, Will should be able to make it work. For a quick commentation on what's going on here, well, first off, I just, I just get to chill in this chair here, which is nice. Will is trying to get uh, the transmission mounts into these little holes and the new ones they're not lining up perfectly right away and it's it's a pain because the entire weight of the transmission is pretty much sitting on top of them so they're very hard to uh, get into the right place and you can't really raise the transmission much higher so uh how are you feeling will yeah, i think i want to do the other way he's feeling great <laughs> they're like they're like keyed all right i stepped outside for a second because uh I checked the book time for how long a shop would take to do all of this work. And it turns out it's only 16 hours. And Will's obviously not a trained professional, neither am I, but I realizing that I might've made it too easy for him. And uh, I don't want that. It wouldn't be exciting. So I'm gonna cut it down to 12 hours. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? He's at hour nine right now. Um, and it's very dark outside and late. Yeah, so we'll give him uh, another three hours to complete the rest of this job and it should take a professional shop another another seven hours so yeah he's gonna be faster than a shop if he can do it we're gonna keep it exciting i don't think he'll be too happy about it though hey hi so i looked up how long it would take a shop to do all the work yeah it turns out it's only 16 hours and uh you seem to be going way too fast so i think that we're obviously at hour nine now but i think we should um just make it a 12 hour challenge. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> For real? <laughs> uh, this seems like I'm torturing Will, by the way. 
I, no, I, I mean, Will's the best. I, <laughs> I've been moving, to be fair, to me. Yeah, it's the belt that I'm worried about. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I think I'll be able to do it. If yeah. you do it by this way, that means you are faster than a professional mechanic who would take 16 hours, and that makes you better than a professional mechanic. Or I'd just be cutting corners. You accept the challenge? I mean, yeah, I have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, have a you own the car, and I, and I well, want the car. I wanted consent before I made him do so. All right, good luck, buddy. Motivated by his time literally being cut in half, Will is working quickly to get the motor mounts out. To access the top bolts, you have to use a really long extension and go through the engine bay. It's pretty hard to get the socket onto the bolt. But once both sides are loose, Will then just has to lift the car back up. Just like the transmission mounts, you have to get the weight off the engine mounts by lifting the engine up. Will is using the screw jack again. It's a bit riskier this time though because the only part of the engine he can access is the oil pan. You really don't want to put weight on the oil pan because they're pretty fragile. But because Will is quickly running out of time and options, He's doing it anyways, using a hockey puck to hopefully prevent damage. With the engine up, he can finesse the old motor mounts out and then attempt to insert the new ones in. Because the old ones were pretty worn and compressed, there isn't much room to get the new ones on. One side went in pretty easily, but the other side is not. By moving the screw jack, Will hopes to be able to shift the engine enough to fit the more stubborn mount in and get it positioned properly. But even with the jack moved, it's still going to require a bit of brute force and ignorance to fit. This is crazy to watch. That's crazy. Ow. You war. Got it. You got it? Yep. You're going through the... <laughs> I guess that's what you're supposed to do. That's why that hole's there. Definitely not for structure. It works. All right. I like that. It's almost cool. done. You're almost done with the engine mounts? Yep. Then just a simple belt survey. All right, Will, you've got literally an hour left now. All right. As he's on the floor, tools everywhere. I'm going through it right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look like you've been through it, bro. I actually am going through it a little bit, but now all I have to do is the belts, which I've actually never done that in a car before, ever. For somebody who's never done belts before, Will is making pretty quick work of them. With the tensioner loosened, the old belt just slides right out, and he can slot the new one in with no issues. It's always important to make sure the belt is rooted properly. And with that in, we can lower the car, so Will can take care of the final few things left. With the car down, Will can tighten the motor mounts from the top, which he almost forgot. And even though that can be a bit annoying, it's going pretty well. And Will's getting closer and closer to the finish line. But he's definitely starting to run out of energy. All right, my motor mounts are done. Woo! And so are the serpentine belts. And so are the trans mounts. And so are the brakes. Sorry. And so are the plugs and coils. <laughs> you look so defeated. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, change. so I only have one more thing left to do. Look at Very it. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And he's still got Just 30 minutes to spare. Yeah. The I got to do the brake fluid flush though. So don't count me out just yet. Well, hurry minutes. up, you only have 30 minutes. <laughs> I think he's got that. Yeah, I think he's I got think that. So. But it could go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a chance that something doesn't work. And then it takes like six hours to finish. It's always the simplest stuff that gets you, honestly. So, uh, let's see what happens. Normally a brake fluid flush is super easy, but under this level of time constraint, even the simplest task becomes difficult. On top of that, Will is using a pump brake bleeder because he has to do it all alone. So that'll make it just a bit harder. While Will toils away, I just want to say thank you to some people that made this all possible. Thanks to our friend Curtis from Torque Motor Car for helping me find the car for the right price, our friend Z from Redline for getting the car here quickly and in great shape, and FCP Euro for providing all the parts we use today. None of this would happen without them, so if you're looking to buy a car, transport a car, or buy car parts, check them out at the links below. Brake fluid degrades pretty quickly, so it's definitely important to replace it. Starting from the furthest corner away from the brake fluid reservoir, then moving around finishing with the closest, Will is making quick work of the brake bleeding. And after just around 20 minutes, all that's left is to reinstall the wheels and he's done. Yeah. Oh, the wheels are going on. And he's got a little bit of time to spare. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't lose your wheel nuts. What are they? <laughs> well, that, well wow. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> It needs to be on the ground to count. No, no. How long do I have? 
minutes, 11 minutes, 11 minutes. Where's the horn? You got to make sure you shake 11. it. 11 minutes. Oh. 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 on this end. <laughs> Last, Last reel. reel. That 12 hour thing really screwed me, man. I would have had 12 hours left. That's a good point. I miscalculated the time. I wanted it to be exciting. Yeah. I thought 24 would make it exciting because it's a cool number, but 12 makes it, turns out way more exciting. I should have given you eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> Someone go take a lug nut so we can't put it all back together. <laughs> <For the next. laughs> That's it. The last bolt. Oh, oh man. Oh, you're last bolt, everyone. Are y'all ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> you finished. Oh my god. Oh, buddy. Here, okay. Woo! All right. Well, well, you did it. <laughs> Yay! Congrats, buddy. I earned this thing. You did earn it. Well, subscribe Blood, to the channel. And tears. Subscribe so we can build it, right? Yeah, yeah, we gotta do stuff to this now. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be cool. So, subscribe. Bye.